Hi guys, James at Rampant Lion Reviews again for you today with another beer review. For this one, we are going to head over to America once again, and this is my very first beer that I'm ever trying from the state of Georgia. I've been there on quite a few occasions actually, really nice state, but I was never old enough to actually try any of the beer, and back then I wasn't really into beer anyway. But for this one, we are going to go to Athens, Georgia and visit Terrapin Beer Company, and tonight we're going to have a taste of their Muhu beer, which is a chocolate milk stout. And I am actually quite a big fan of these kind of sweet stout beers. The one that I had at home that really got me into this style was the Riptide from Brewdog. That was my local one back when I was studying in Aberdeen. But interestingly, these, this brewery is supposed to be one of the kind of bigger American craft breweries from the southeast of America. But I never came across them at home in Scotland. But I got this beer out. I've seen it quite a few times in my local Sisti and Belog here in Loon. So hopefully I can get some of the other Terrapin ones for you at some point and review them as well. But very much looking forward to this beer. It's got a rating of 88 on Beer Advocate and a rating of about 91 or 92 on Rate Beer. So do check it out if you get the chance. But as always with my reviews, I'll tell you a little bit about the brewery. If you do want to get straight to the tasting, just fast forward. All the usual links are in the video description below. The brewery website, the links to my future reviews that hopefully I can do from Terrapin and also the Facebook profile for the channel and the Untapped profile. And feel free to get in touch with me whatever way you wish. It's always interesting to hear from you guys and those of you watching from the state of Georgia and America please let me know some other breweries and some other beers that I should have a look at from your state always interesting to hear from you guys that are watching the videos but anyway, to tell you about Terrapin Beer Company, the brewery was founded, as I told you, in Athens in Georgia, which is just a little bit to the, to the northeast of the state capital of Atlanta, if I remember correctly. But they were founded back in 2002 by Brian Spike Bukowski, who is an American Brewers Guild graduate, and John Cochran, who is a University of Georgia graduate. But the pair worked, uh, met when they were working together at Atlanta Brewing Company, and they both homebrewed for a number of years, and then they decided to go into business together and start their own brewery. But Brian was a huge Grateful Dead fan and so the brewery was named after their album The Terrapin Station. But the pair spent three years unsuccessfully pitching to investors to cover the startup costs for the brewery, you know, like equipment and things like that. And in 2002 they actually introduced the Terrapin Rye Paleo, which is still in the core range today. But this beer won accolades amongst beer lovers and then went on to win gold at the Great American Beer Festival that year in Denver, Colorado. And this helped Terrapin Beer Company gain gain distribution deals across Atlanta and it also opened the door for them to contract brew at Frederick Brewing Company in Maryland, in Frederick, Maryland, who are now incidentally Flying Dog Brewing Company and also Zuma Brewing Company in Atlanta as well. So this was really how the Terrapin Beer Company took off. But in 2008 they secured $800,000 in investment from a group of Athens investors and then they were able to open their own brewery at a small factory in Athens. And in 2008 they actually moved to a larger premises which is on Newton Bridge Road where they still reside today and ever since then they've been growing really quite steadily and as I said I think these guys are actually one of the better known craft breweries from the southeastern part of the states. The only other ones I've seen actually from the southeastern states was probably Obita who are from Louisiana and I've never, I never saw these guys back at home like I said in Scotland. I never saw the Terrapin beers in Scotland but when I came to Sweden these guys seem to have their beers distributed through the Sisti and Belogit that we have here. So, as I say, hopefully I can review some more of their beers. But that's your kind of brief history of the brewery, if you like. Just to list the other beers you can get from these guys. So in the year-round range, you have the Rye Paleo, which was at the very first Terrapin beer. There's the Hopsecutioner IPA, Golden Ale, Recreation Ale, High Five IPA, and also Liquid Bliss. And then there's the seasonal range of which this guy is a member. So you have Muhu, which is a stout beer, as I told you, Pumpkin Fest, Maggie's Farmhouse, and also the Mosaic beer. They also have a range of kind of uh, high ABV beers as well, and there's three in this one. The Hop Selection, which has double IPA, Rye Cubed, which is a higher ABV version of the Rye Pale Ale, if I'm not mistaken, and they also have the Wake and Bake one, which was originally a 10th anniversary beer, but it's done every year for a kind of cooking festival as well. But they've also got various collaboration beers and special releases, and apparently one of the special releases was a white chocolate version of this Muhu, so that would actually be a really interesting beer for me to try but unfortunately I don't think I'm ever going to find that one again and this is actually the only Terrapin one that I've seen here in Sweden so like I say hopefully I can get some more of their beers at some point but I'll just bring up the camera and let you have a little quick look at the artwork on this one 
It's actually quite nicely presented. I actually do quite like turtles and turtoises and things like that. I'm not sure exactly what the difference with a terrapin is, if it's just a, a kind of specific uh, species of turtoise or whatever, but I do like turtles and things. I just I find them quite funny to watch the videos of and things, and they're a very old species, which for me, being a scientist, actually makes them really quite interesting. But it says on the side here, the terrapin muhu chocolate milk stout proudly uses cocoa nibs and shells from Olive and Sinclair Chocolate Company. I'm guessing this is one of their local companies to give this beer its great chocolatey taste. Great till the cows come home, and it's got the little Olive and Sinclair symbol on the side. But as you can see, there's a terrapin dressed up as a cow there holding some straw and uh, on the farm kind of the typical American uh, sort of Midwest looking farm there it's really quite nice I've been in Georgia I don't remember many farms looking like that actually I was in Atlanta and Savannah and a couple of places like that but it was a really quite nice state actually the coastline that kind of Carolina and Atlanta and uh, Georgia coastline is really quite nice but this beer comes in at 6% I've got the stats of it here as well so it comes in at 6% it's got 30 IBUs 16.1 original gravity it's hopped with Williamette and Nugget hops with a malt base of two row pale flaked oat crystal 85 chocolate malts DH Carafa 3 and also roasted barley and there's additions to the brewery of Oliva and Sinclair cocoa nibs and cocoa shells and lactose or Olivia and Olive and Sinclair sorry chocolate nibs to this one so this should be a really quite nice beer and as I told you at the start of the video I really do enjoy a sweet stout so very much looking forward to this one so as you can see a nice smoky opening there and there is the terrapin bottle cap on this one but you can see a really nice kind of smoky opening there and we'll get this guy out and into the glass. I'm trying to think of what other kind of uh, sweet stout beers I've had. In Scotland we have the Profanity Stout from Williams Brothers. Probably a brewery that you guys watching in Georgia will be able to get a hold of. Williams Brothers export over to America and you also have the, uh, the brew dog beers out there as well so if you do like this style of beer if you're looking for one from Scotland I would recommend either the Profanity Stout from Williams Brothers one of my local breweries when I live at home and also the brew dog Riptide which was my local brewery when I studied in Aberdeen but there's not a chocolate stout here in London, Sweden, I don't think, so I'll let you know about that in the future anyway. But as you can see, this beer has poured a really nice dark sort of ebony colour, really, there's not much way else, to another way to describe that, it really is a dark ebony colour. If I shine the light over here, you can really see just how dark this beer is. There's a three quarter finger of a frothy kind of beigey tan head on this, not bumpy in the slightest, definitely frothy, but it looks really, really quite nice, this beer. So. Yeah, should be a really nice one for us to have a look at. There's a few big bubbles sticking towards the side of the glass there, but quite a few little ones just going up towards the bottom of the head. But it should be really nice. It comes in at 6%. So we'll have a look at the aroma with this one. Yeah. So there's a lot of nice kind of sweet chocolatey malt coming out of this one. It actually smells a little bit roasted, to be honest with you. But there's a nice big kind of sweet milky chocolate no nose from this one. You can get a bit of the, the milky character as well, which is obviously to do with the addition of lactose in this one. But there is a little bit of roasted character, maybe just a little bit of coffee, which is probably coming from the carafa that's been added to the brew as well. But you can pick up a kind of nice brown bready note out of this beer as well, and some cereal. And I want to say too, that there is a little bit of a kind of very dark red fruity ester from it. Almost a little bit like if you, when you get dark chocolate, you always get a bit of a dark red fruity flavour from chocolate and that's definitely coming across in the aroma from this one. But yeah, definitely a big malt forward beer this one, as you would expect when it's a stout beer. But there's a nice sweet chocolatey malt in there, quite a milky chocolate actually. And you can also pick up little bits of the lactose as well. But there's just a little bit of a bready character and also some cereal as well in this one which is really quite nice. I always like it when you've got a bit of a, a malt, a kind of bready character backing up some of these nice uh, milky notes in the stout. But yeah, as I always say, pay a, good, a bit of attention to the, the nose on your beer before you try it. This one I think is going to be a really, really nice beer. So yeah, let's get stuck into this one. So this is the Muhu Chocolate Milk Stout from the Terrapin Beer Company in Athens in northeastern Georgia and southeastern USA. Slanja.
But yeah, really nice, quite sweet stout actually with this one. As you would expect, I was reading about this that it is a sweet stout, so I'm saying that it's pretty obvious, but comes across as really nice. As always, as I always recommend, when you first try this beer, sugar it around your mouth a little bit and just let your whole palate adjust, but a really nice sweet stout this beer. Yeah, really, really quite smooth this one. A lot of the sweet chocolate flavours coming out right at the very start. You just get a blanket over the middle of your palate there and that's the nice kind of smooth brown bready character coming out of this beer. And on top of that, you can really get a lot of the nice kind of sweet milky chocolate flavours coming out. The lactose in this beer does come out really well. It's got quite a creamy mouthfeel this one. There is a nice kind of butterscotch character to this beer as well. You'll get that right in the middle of the tongue. You've got these nice sweet milky chocolate characters there on top of that really smooth kind of slightly brown bready malt base to this beer. As I say that just blankets the middle of your tongue. Right down the middle of the palate there is a nice sweet uh, kind of butterscotchy caramel there and then these nice lactosey milk characters are just building up on top of that and you've got the really kind of sweet milky chocolate character in there as well. There's a lot of flavour in this beer. It's really sweet and really quite nice actually. Maybe it is actually up there with the Brewdog Riptide beer so if I was actually quite, if I was able to get this beer quite readily it probably would be a kind of go-to stout for me when I was in the mood for one of these beers. Mm. But yeah, really, really nice. A lot of flavour going on in this beer. So if you enjoy the sweet stout style and you like beers with a lot of flavour, then this is one to go for, definitely. There's a bit of darker uh, chocolate character coming out of this one as well. There is just a, a kind of very light hint of roasted character and there's just a little bit of that dark coffee there. As you start to move towards the edge of the palate at the very back of your tongue you can just get a little bit of a uh, roasted coffee in there and some darker chocolate but overall the flavour of this beer it really is, as they were saying, a chocolate milk stout and it is really quite sweet actually. There's a good bit of vanilla flavour in here as well I think. There, you can just taste some of the, the vanilla in this too and it, it, it goes with the, with the, the kind of milky flavours really quite well. It's almost as if rather than being a, a chocolate milk stout it's almost like a chocolate vanilla milkshake stout. It's probably a good way to describe it actually but um, it, it's beautiful. That's, that's the main point. It's a really really nice beer this one. Mm. But yeah, around the back corners of the palate you can actually pick up a little bit of earthy character too comes across as very smooth but the earthy character is, a, a, I think it's the Willamette hop out of the nugget in Willamette. The Willamette hop is the one that's more likely to give you a nice kind of earthy character and the nugget hop will give you a bit more of a herbal character and there is around the edges of the palate a nice uh, smooth earthy character. Particularly the earthiness comes out in the back corner but as you move further forward around the tongue it does become a bit lighter and more herbal as you go around the very front curve. You'll feel a little bit of an oily bubble behind the very front of your tongue too and there is maybe perhaps just a little bit of a kind of candied fruity ester coming out there so just pay attention to that right behind the very front of your palate. Mm. But yeah, overall flavour on this beer really top notch. I can see why it has these ratings very close to 90 on Rate Beer and Beer Advocate. If, you, if you're ever curious about a beer, those sites are very rarely wrong and they definitely weren't in the case of this beer. It is a really, really quite nice one. In terms of the mouthfeel of this one as well, I would say definitely a mid-bodied beer. The carbonation is noticeable in it, but overall it is really quite smooth. As you would expect with a stout, it is very malt forward and you know that's that's exactly what you want. Very smooth beer and it actually does have quite a creamy mouthfeel to it but a lot of nice malty sweetness in there. As I was saying there's a lot of milky chocolate flavour in there, a lot of nice vanilla flavours as well and it just it fuses together really quite nicely. As you move into the aftertaste you get a little bit of a, a dry character to it and that's maybe just a little bit of the carafe, a little bit of the roasted 
flavours of the beer come out more into the uh, into the aftertaste and just gives you a little bit of a dry character in the middle of the palate. But the hoppy characteristics of the beer are very smooth, not dry at all. But overall, it is a very kind of malt forward stout, as you would expect, particularly when it's a sweet stout like this. But it's overall, it's really, really nice. And as I would say to my viewers back in Europe, if you enjoy the, the Brewdog Riptide or the even the Profanity Stout, those are the two beers from home that I would compare it to, then this is one that you really want to have a go at. And, and, and yeah, if you like these kind of sweet chocolate stouts, then those of you watching in America that haven't tried this beer, I'm sure you will definitely enjoy this one. I enjoy a good imperial stout and a good sweet stout. For me, these are taster beers. They're not ones that I would tend to session, but if you want a nice dessert beer or you want... some, I just get in the mood for porters and for stouts every so often. And for me, this is a really nice one. I certainly wouldn't hesitate to drink this beer again. So I'm not sure if this is the, the summer seasonal beer or exactly which one it is, but I certainly wouldn't hesitate to drink this beer again. And I'd highly recommend it to anyone who likes the stout style, particularly the sweet stout. So if you're a fan of Brewdog, Riptide, or a fan of uh, Profanity Stout or Sweet Stouts in general, then definitely check out the Muhu Seasonal Stout Beer from Terrapin Beer Company in Athens and Georgia. But anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this beer review. It's been really cool to do a beer from another US state that I've never visited before on my beery travels. So I hope you've enjoyed the review. As always, please let me know in the comment section below your own thoughts on this beer if you do happen to have tried it before. Always interesting to hear from you guys that are watching the videos. As I said at the start, those of you from Georgia, please let me know some other Georgian beers that I should have a look at. Definitely would be up for reviewing them if I can get a hold of them. But I thank you for watching my beer reviews. Please like, subscribe, share, all the usual YouTube stuff. Hopefully there's many more to come from the Terrapin Beer Company and from the state of Georgia. But until my next review, it's just now and please subscribe and share. Skull.